Hi guys and welcome to another Valentine series card. This time it's number four. Today I'm using a little blue button stamps stamp, which is the new release that is releasing today. So um, hop on over and look at all of the beautiful new stamps coming out today. She is a uh, She's an Asian girl, so I have actually done a little mix-up in my skin colors. I chose to use uh, the A51 instead of the E00, and that kind of um, turns give, gives it a little bit more of a yellowish tone for her skin. Um, for her hair, I'm gonna do it black, and I'm going to do it black with a tint of blue. So I'm using a uh, the B52 for the blue because I kind of felt it had the right softness. And then uh, I'm using um, uh, the 110 special black as black for the roots and stepping up from that up with C10, C8 and C6 to... Um, give it some dimension and shadows and everything. So I actually used a black pen to color black for a little bit at least. And actually going in with my uh, 110 an extra time to get a little bit of uh, those hair strand a little bit more pronounced, sort of. Then I'm uh, coloring the little fox that she has, which is so adorable. I just fell in love with its stamp. I'm so happy to be able to play with it. Um, I'm coloring my favorite fox colors, uh, which is two browns, the E18 and E08, together with the YR18 and the YR15. I did put down the YR12 for the beginning, but kind of felt that 15 was a better choice to kind of top it off with. And then I'm using my C, C Grace to uh, shadow the um, fox to give it roundness also on the white parts. For her dress, I chose green because. I kind of started looking for papers that could fit that fox and uh, they had a pretty nice green so I wanted to try to match that a little bit. I'm using yellow greens mostly or only I think uh, for this green um, because it gives it a little bit more depth and it fits a little bit better together with the orange. Um, being yellow based both of them it they kind of work from each other sort of and then I used the darker the three darker colors in the fox to do all the linings and the little ribbon or bow on her back and then as usual I cut it out with my cutter bee scissors um, I like my scissors uh, <laughs> And um, I'm not cutting out that little triangle on her hair with my scissors. Instead, I'm using my knives instead because uh, it's a little bit easier and I can get a more even line that way. And if you actually look close to my cards, my lines are never even. They're just sort of even. Really. The papers I'm using today is from American Crafts. Uh, it's their Give Thanks um, paper pack, which I used for um, some other little bit button stamp card uh, back uh, in the fall. But I kind of really like this paper. And even if this is four leaves, I know, I think it still kind of works. Really, because I really it gets a forest feeling, and with that fox, uh, I just needed to use those papers. I don't have any defense for using fall papers in winter, springtime, but I kind of like it. For her sentiment, I'm using this little die from my favorite things. It's from the Tag Builder 5 set. 
have I told you how much I love that set. I think it's so much fun to play with. And actually, while I was editing this video, I kind of realized a thing, and that is, instead of cutting them out and putting them on one by one, I could just have cut them out directly out of the pattern paper, uh, as I'm actually backing it with the same color cardstock as I, I have for the little letters, I could just have cut it out and it wouldn't be so fiddly and it go would have gone much faster. But yeah, sometimes, sometimes cards don't come together in the order for those kind of things to happen. But I can think about it next time I'm play around with these fun dice. I'm using a two-way glue pen by SEG, uh, which I actually really like using. Um, you have a little time to move them around and then they s sit really, really good. Some 3M uh, foam tape on the back of her to get her a little bit dimension as usual. And then I'm going to make a card base with some Nina Desert Storm, which I cut to four five and a half and score at four and a quarter. Now you will see here in the image that uh, there is some green dots all over the card. Well, I, while putting together this card, I put on and off those green dots a whole bunch of times, but I ended up actually removing them completely from the card. And then this is the card that uh, is the final card. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment down below. If you like this, please thumbs it up. It means a lot to me. If you have any questions, just comment. I just said that, sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you later. Bye.